Welcome back to ISO Math. We are still working with our gas process data and in this video we will be talking about how to use a, a basic fitting, the basic fitting feature of MATLAB which allows us to take some data points and to do a best fit line, a best fit quadratic and so forth. So it's pretty simple but it's pretty cool how easily MATLAB does it. So I have here I want to highlight USA and years. I want to plot that. So I click here and make sure that it's going to show USA in the X coordinates and years in the Y coordinates. I want to switch that. So I'll do this little switch X and Y button here. And now I have years as my X coordinate. And so we have our graph here. And I want to click on the show plot tools because I want to make this thing a so here's the I'm going to make markers. How big are those? So let's make those a little markers a little bigger. So ten. Maybe bigger one more time. There we go. And let's color the markers black. Now that being said, I want to get rid of that line, which is just straight lines connecting the data points. So no line. Okay. So now I just have all my data points here, and I want to do a best fit line. Okay. So we go to tools. See tools up here, and we have basic fitting. It's the basic fitting tool. Click on that, and you'll see here we can click on a linear function that passes through those very nicely and gives us a, a best fit line for this that, uh, set of data points. Um, I can get rid of that. I can put a quadratic function. I guess it didn't like that one. Let's do a cubic, see how that looks. Okay, cool, that fits this data really nicely. So, let's leave that there. Let's hit show right here. Hit show equation. So we can show the equation there that fit those data points and we can let's click on this arrow down here and here you see we have a cubic and down here it gives all the coefficients coefficients of the cubic and we can go in here and now we can say two thousand Point seven to evaluate. So, and it'll give that the uh, a little bit after two thousand. There, it'd give that the gas prices were approximately a dollar thirty-seven a gallon. Can that possibly be correct? Uh, yeah, so gas prices were low back in the nineties and early two thousands. Looks like they started going wild about 2000 so really increasing I and mean, look how nicely they match this curve this cubic polynomial so you see again that will give you something to play with I think this is pretty easy but it is really cool and something we could really uh, use with our students to, so, so they could use this information and the focus could be on how to use the information and not so much how to find the best fit line because or the best fit quadratic <coughs> so we all know that can be painful but how to use the information. Okay? We'll see you in the next video. That'll give you some stuff to work with.